Narcissists depend on your reaction. They depend on you doing, feeling or thinking something in response to a situation or event, in response to something they have said or done. Narcissists can be very small-minded and narrow-minded. They can have rigid opinions and a narrow outlook on life. They can be unwilling to listen to or tolerate other people's views. They can be very prejudiced. They can have preconceived opinions and ideas that are not based on reason or actual experience. They can be unduly concerned with trivial matters in a small-minded and spiteful way. They can be mean and grudging. They can be resentful. Because they care too much about small and unimportant things. They don't have enough meaningful things in their lives to worry about. Their lives lack purpose and meaning. So they become very fussy. They become attentive to and concerned about accuracy and detail. They become very concerned about matters of cleanliness. They are always fault finding. They are always criticizing things that are of little value or importance. Which can be very annoying. It can cause anxiety and discomfort to you. It's like they're always trying to start an argument with you. Often about things that aren't even relevant. They can make a mountain out of a molehill. They can make a slight difficulty seem like a serious problem. They engage in overreactive histrionic behavior where they make too much of a minor issue. They pick on things that don't even matter, just to cause an argument. Because they are very immature, and they are looking for a reaction. They depend on your reaction, because it makes them feel better about themselves. They are constantly scanning the environment for something to be wrong. They are looking for anything that they can complain about. They always have something to say. But it's never anything helpful or useful. It's not going to benefit you in any way. But they will continue this behavior because they just want a reaction. That's why they do what they do. They're always fault finding. They're always nitpicking. They're very miserable people because they're envious and jealous of you. They're constantly looking at what you've got. They're constantly comparing themselves to you. They're always trying to compete with you and they can't let things go. But when they do this, you should not entertain their behavior because it really has nothing to do with you. It is the result of their defective nature. It is the result of their weakness and imperfection. People who actually have a life are not going to engage in this behavior. 
but people who don't have a life have the potential to cause a lot of problems to you because they've got nothing else to do. Their life revolves around monitoring other people and trying to bring them down to their level. Their criticism is not going to help you. It is not going to build you up in any way. It's only going to make you miserable just like them. Because that's what it's intended to do. They want to make you feel the way they feel. They're trying to annoy you. They're trying to provoke you to react to them. They want to make you angry or upset. They want to keep you off balance. Whenever you're around a narcissist, they will put you in a position where you're constantly trying to please them, where you're constantly trying to do better. But it will never be good enough. No matter what you do, they will never be happy. They can't let it be good enough because they don't feel good inside. They don't feel good about themselves. So they need the environment to reflect how they feel. Which means that there always has to be something wrong. There always has to be something that needs to be fixed or improved. There always has to be something they need to feel complete. And it just never ends. Because nothing in the external world can complete them. Yet they will continue finding faults. They will continue making demands. They will increase the dosage. They will increase their consumption. But it's never enough. They're still miserable. No matter how much of your time and effort you put in, they will always find something wrong with it. They will never be satisfied. They have these insatiable desires because they're not at peace with themselves. You can do something exactly the way they want it to be done. And they will still act like there's something wrong with it. They're not going to tell you that you did well. They're not going to give you compliments or praise. Because they look at it like, why should they give you that pride and pleasure? Just so you can feel good when they don't feel good about themselves. They are envious and jealous of you. They're looking at it like, why should they tell you how great you are when it's going to uplift you? It's going to make you feel good. It's going to make you feel better about yourself. While they're still miserable. And that is why they cannot compliment you. They cannot give you the recognition that you deserve. They have to play it down. They have to act like it's nothing. They have to be in opposition to you because they want to bring you down. They want to put you beneath them.
They're quick to tell you everything they don't like. But they will never tell you what they do like about you. They will never talk about the things that you've done well. Because they're fake. They're trying to deceive you. They're trying to give you a mistaken impression of yourself. And they're trying to act like they're greater than what they actually are. Because they're envious of you. They believe that you're greater than them. They're not around you because they like you. They're only around you to tear you down. They're just there to destroy you. That's why they keep criticizing, annoying and punishing you. Because they're in opposition to you. They want to weaken you. They're trying to target your self-esteem so that they can feel like they're better than you. Because deep down they feel like you're better than them. But they can't accept it because they have very fragile egos. And that's why they don't like you. Because they see that you're very talented. They see that you have something. So they make negative comments about you. They try to put you down. They're only around you to figure out what your weaknesses are. So that they can then use them to get reactions out of you. And then elevate themselves at your expense. No healthy, mature adult is going to want to be the cause of someone's ruin. They're not going to want to get themselves involved in any kind of trouble. And anyone else who chooses to join them in this malicious behavior is no good. They're just as broken and damaged as the narcissist. You should cut them out of your life. They may try to say that you took it the wrong way or that you're being too sensitive. They will try to twist things around. Because they want you to accept their behavior. So that they don't have to be held accountable for their actions. And then they can continue getting reactions out of you. You have to tell them exactly how you see it. And then cut them off. Don't deal with them anymore. People who are always fault finding and nitpicking are likely to be narcissists. And so is anyone else who chooses to follow them in that behavior. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries. You can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.